All right, guys. So we just arrived here at home, and you see all this construction going on. Look at that! Oh my God, look at this. This is the problem every day. So it's so muddy here, and then when they remove this one, I have to leave my scooter. But anyway, it's not about my complaints for today. So now I'm back at home and I just want to show you what's going on in here. So here is my little Dahlia patch. Look at that guys. I'm so happy that they're starting to, you know, really bloom. All of them. Oh my god, it's happening there. They put something in here. So what's happening here? That's it? What is this one? What is this for? Three. Preparing it so you can mount the panel on there. Just three panels. And I thought they're gonna put this. Just calm down. We've got to okay, anyway. Time. So it's not about my complaint again, guys. So I was just about talking about this one, which is my Dahlia patch in here. So I hope you like this one. So this morning I created another uh, vlog, guys. So this afternoon, look at that, my partner really wants to try to uh, enter the walkway <laughs> and experience himself what it feels like walking in between these beautiful dahlias here and we are greeted of course by this one by this very huge cafe au lait in front as the main reception <laughs> receptionist and my brown sugar aka copper boy <laughs> I don't know what this one is but I will uh, give it two names copper boy and aka brown sugar or brown sugar aka copper boy so look at that guys it's giving me some very nice flowers as well i'm just so happy to look at them really every time i'm coming home this is what i feel and this is what i want to share with you guys so when you see your garden is starting to you know uh, become what you want them to be in your head in your dreams and it's happening slowly but surely that's the happiness I'm feeling right now and I just want to share it with you and if you are wondering what are these two uh, plants in here so these are the two surefire begonias which is now oh my god I just noticed that it's really you know really blooming that much and look at that oh my god so let's start walking inside here guys so this is what you are seeing in here so let's start walking there you go and from the morning this is my boom boom white so for sure tomorrow morning guys you will see this one fully open and blooming and of course this is also one of my favorites really but I think this one is not I think uh, I'm not their favorite because this one is always giving me open center i don't know why but the last one i had was not really open center but anyway um i'm really happy to see this edinburgh here in our uh, garden it's so beautiful fans pus pus i'm so happy really with this flower look at that and i can't wait to see the flower of this um seedling this is another cafe ole seedling i just can't wait what uh this one will be like and yes this one really i'm so excited tomorrow guys so tomorrow wait for my next vlog tomorrow and you will see this one in full bloom and what is that in, i don't know if that's a cat or what that's just like somebody saying hello but in like uh in an animal version what is that anyway so going back here I just actually cut this morning um, this one some of the old buds that are starting to become a uh, seed pod I did I just tried to um, cut them but yeah I think um, yeah let's see what happens with this one let's leave it alone and my fuzzy wazzy perfect my god look at that so beautiful look at this fuzzy wazzy I have five blooms all at the same time look at that guys it's so beautiful look at this fuzzy wazzy I can't believe that it's really beautiful and also my pacific time 
My feline Ibon, look at that guys. We're starting to see the orange color. Purple at the back and orange in front. My favorite also, really. This one is so beautiful. I am just so happy really with what I'm seeing now with my Delia. Look at this Coralis giving me such a beautiful bloom. This one as well, it's so beautiful. This is my Barbary Glamour. So, yes. And let's see what's. Uh, this is the next flower. This is the next flower of the Cafe Ole seed. And it seems like it's going to be another single flower, single petal. Anyway, that's really Cafe Ole. It's really. How can I say this one? Cafe Ole is always very unpredictable. And here is another cafe ole in here, first flower, and here's the second one. Very unpredictable. Hopefully tomorrow this one will bloom, which is my Angel Hearts Matador. Oh my god, look at this. I think it was really a windy afternoon because I was uh, not here at home uh, today. so. Um, lots of things going on, I think. Oh my god. I can't wait to see the flower of this one. Shit. Shucks. Shucks. It's so beautiful. And of course, look at this one. My, uh, new flowers from my fans post post. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Look at that. So as um I wanted to share with you guys regarding the fertilizers that I'm using for my dahlias. I want to be honest with you guys. I haven't used any fertilizers with my dahlias what? this year. Except first I'm only just starting to use a first a fertilizer today. And you know um what is also making me happy is that most of these pots are still using the same old soil that I've used from last year. What? You heard me right guys? That's correct. That is the same old soil that I have used from last year. And I just added, of course, I have to add some uh, potting mix which I also bought this season. But other than that, all of this one guys, all of this pots are still using the same old soil that I was using last year. So if you guys haven't watched my soil mix recipe from last year, please uh, take a look. Watch uh, that video. Maybe that will be very, very helpful. I don't know. I'm just so happy because I felt this year I've saved a lot of fertilizers because last year I really did spend lots of fertilizers when it comes to my dahlias. But then, I'm not saying that I'm not going to use fertilizers. Huh? I want to let you know also that aside from keeping the same old soil that I used from last year, there is just one fertilizer that I have been using. And as mentioned, they already started flowering and now I'm just about to use this fertilizer which i also used last year and i'm going to show you now so this is my secret so let me just put my bag in here so as you can see guys i just literally just came here in our um yeah i just came i just arrived here from our from work here to our house and i just want to have a look again at this very beautiful cafe ole look at that I just so admire this one since yesterday and I know I, I created this video this morning and oh my god and as usual since morning this one keeps falling down I don't know why maybe it was really windy and again in here 
I don't know. I feel it's so windy, really, today. And everything is just falling down. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead, guys. I think I need to cut this cafe ole to, you know, um, give more energy and uh, concentration to the next flowers. But I can see that the next flowers are really looking fabulous. Look at that, guys. That's the next flower. And there's another one. I think they're going to bloom simultaneously. And look at this one, guys. I'm just so happy that this one it seems like it's not really bothered when it was knocked down, you know. The base was really broken, but there's still a part of it that's still connected. And I think, I don't know if that's really good enough. I don't know. And there's another dahlia in here. I don't know if this is a cafe ole or what, but it doesn't seem like a cafe ole. But anyway, I planted it in here and it's starting to show some flowers now. Let's see what happens. I really want to tidy up this place, but my partner doesn't want me to cut this um, poppy in here. So let's see what happens. So guys, are you ready now for my secret? Oh my god, Puss Puss is just sitting there. On our neighbor's uh, fence. Puss Puss! Puss Puss! Puss Puss, come here! Puss Puss! Look at, him. Look at her. Puss Puss, come home. I miss you. I just came. Look at her. Puss Puss! Puss Puss, come here, little girl. Come here. Oh my god, look at her. Puss Puss, look at the camera. Puss Puss. Puss Puss, don't be shy. Look at Aww. her. Oh, she's so gorgeous. She's really gorgeous girl. Okay guys, so anyway, too much uh, cut um, video. So here you go guys. There you go. So this is my secret. Since last season, this is what I have been using for my dailyas. So this is the NPK information. It's zero zero zero, which means it only has potassium. And that's the reason i think why my um i had my I, as far as i remember last year my as uh, sorry before i go to that plant so this is the name of it this is the yates tribe sulfate of potash that's the one that is i'm using for my dahlias some of them initially I've used the old one of this one, but as you can see guys, this is also um, another one that I bought this year, but I haven't opened this one yet because I thought I'm going to be able to use this one, but this one was since last year and it still have a bit. So I think I'm not going to, um, I mean, probably not gonna use this one this year, maybe next season. And I still have this one. Look at that. So this is the main um, fertilizer that I am going to be using for my dahlias. So I haven't used this one yet. I am just about to use this one. I used this one last year with my with some of my dahlias. And I really noticed the effect because um, let's go to that plant where I used that sulfate of potash. So... Um, Last year, I have my Kelvin floodlight. If you guys can remember, my Kelvin floodlight gave me an open center. And here's my uh, Kelvin floodlight that is just about to bloom. And I can really see that this one is really doing well. I didn't pinch this one. Last year, I did pinch my Kelvin floodlight. But this year, I decided that uh, I will not... Uh, pinch most of my dahlias. I did pinch some of them, but now I decided maybe no need to pinch uh, these dahlias. Just let them grow. I did pinch some of them though, like uh, my fans David, because I really want to see the reaction of this dahlia, this one. I really want to see the reaction of this one when I'm going to pinch it. And it seems like it's responding well. 
I am getting these two huge um, stems in here but I feel maybe no need and then anyway going back to my Kelvin floodlight from last year after giving um, my Kelvin floodlight that uh, potash um, fertilizer oh my god it gave me lots of flower I think after a month lots of blooms compared to um, its first bloom first sets of blooms I don't know I think it happened like there was probably I think there were probably three more blooms simultaneously happening all at the same time last season with my Kelvin floodlight so I think that sulfate of pot uh, potash is really really good so yeah I think that's probably just the secret that I would like to share with you for this season and as mentioned guys if you haven't watched my video regarding my soil mix recipe which I think really you know uh, will work for a long time if you have your dahlias planted in the pots like what I'm doing here in our garden I think that is still gonna work even um, another season has arrived so as mentioned this these uh, pots in here are still from last season and I have planted some new dahlias in here uh, this one is my sweet uh, sorry this is my my salmon runner this is my um, sweet love sweet love was planted late I don't know why I planted it late but anyway it's growing now um, I have my Joey Nikki here my, I have my two boom boom whites over there and this one is my sweet Natalie which I also pinched I I wish I didn't pinch it but anyway let's see what happens and the other one is my Zundert mystery fox I have my yell no actually one of my last five orders which is this one I thought it's not going to grow but it's like it's doing well anyway so let's just leave it there for the meantime and yeah so um i feel maybe these dahlias don't need much attention when it comes to you know giving fertilizer i mean maybe they don't need much fertilizers i think based on my experience i think they probably just need some fertilizers especially potassium and maybe phosphorus as well but as mentioned as you have seen guys i'm only using this zero zero and 41 was it 41 uh potassium uh, yeah ratio with uh, that fertilizer and i think it's really you know uh it's really doing well because last season my dahlia blooms were really really good and this season um I have no complaints I'm really happy with what I'm seeing right now so far and at this time of the year here in New Zealand November usually as what I've heard um, the start of planting season here in New Zealand is actually October the Labor Day which is the last weekend of October and here we are now in almost last week of November today is what today is November 25 black friday yeah it's black friday here and as you have met uh, as i have mentioned guys um they are really really doing well since last year and if you haven't watched as i mentioned if you haven't watched the soil mix recipe maybe it's uh worth it to watch it because um i'm still using as mentioned i'm still using the old soil that um i have used last season and I'm just really happy with um, what I'm seeing right now here in our garden and this is just you know uh, as mentioned the start of um, the season here in New Zealand and I'm just very happy you know I'm just very happy with uh, the performance of my dale yes maybe I need to just take uh, some of them and as mentioned I really haven't learned my lesson <laughs> now that I'm starting to see that um, they're starting to snap up then that's the time i'm going to put the stick and that's actually the lesson that i think i really have to keep in my mind to always stake them especially those that have this um huge flowers and as you can see this one is also going to produce a huge flower and i haven't staked it 
but anyway let's see what happens i have lots of um dahlia flowers to show you later on guys and i'm just very happy and um yes um as mentioned guys i don't have any other secret aside from that fertilizer which i'm going to show you again let's go back there by the way these are my zinnias that i have planted in here seems like there's no progress going on there maybe i need to give them some fertilizers later so going back in here sulfate of potash that's the one so as mentioned guys this is really really good um, fertilizer from my experience from last year the ratio again I'll show you that is 0 0 and 41 maybe too high but um, maybe some people will say it's too high but based on my experience last year if you have seen my blogs last year that's the only fertilizer also that i use i think that's still the same fertilizer that um i was using exactly the same fertilizer that i was using last year and there's still some left there and it's doing really good for my uh, dahlias here in our garden and i just need to really organize them actually <laughs> <laughs> and yes yeah, so i think that would be all for now guys and again thank you very much for watching this video this is the second vlog uh for today and i hope um you like the updates and tomorrow i will definitely give you some more updates especially for those people who would like to see the full bloom of this boom boom white if you are looking for a bald dahlia that is better than um what is this one if you are looking for something that is better than Petra's Wedding, something that is better than Aster White or bigger than Aster White, definitely this one is bigger, guys. Look at that. And we will see tomorrow once it's on its full bloom. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I just can't wait. This is really the most anticipated daily for me this uh, season. And yeah. So, all right, guys. Um... I think that would be all for today and I am actually planning to take a photo of um, my dahlias um, when it's night time just to show you what it's like in here in our garden. And I'm actually... Um, I'm actually touched because I received a message from Miss Hanan and she is from um, Stone Stone Wo Stone and Water World Company which is one of this uh, landscaping and as well as water pitcher um, what do you call this one? Oh yeah, water pitcher seller here in New Zealand and they messaged me and they actually uh, like what I created here and they wanted to post this one this uh daily patch that i created here my god the helicopter all right guys so as i was saying i was really flattered that uh stone and water um yeah from miss hanan from stone and stone and uh water world wanted to uh picture my work on their socials so let's see what happens i'm going to follow um, their social media let's see what happens and yeah i'm, I'm just so flattered that uh, they like what i've done here in our garden so uh stay tuned guys and hopefully yeah let's see what happens here i'm still going to um, enhance this uh, daily patch and not just this daily patch but also the rest of the parts of our garden which is just over here as well which is still under construction so there you go guys again thank you very much for watching this video and i hope you like what you are seeing here in our garden and if you have any questions and inquiries please feel free to leave your comment in the comment section down below and i will be glad to answer all your questions and if i can help you with anything any advice that you need please feel free to leave your comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet Alright guys, thank you very much and I will see you again on my next one. Bye for now.